At this time, I ask all of you who are able to please stand and join the Grafton High School senior choir members for the singing of our national anthem. By the dawn's early light, what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the Seniors, you may be seated. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Grafton High School Class of 2023 graduation ceremony on this fourth day of June. We are gathered together today to celebrate the graduation and many accomplishments of this amazing group of students. My name is Scott Manti and I have had the pleasure and honor of being the principal of Grafton High School for the last eight years. It is my privilege to provide over the ceremony this afternoon, giving our welcome address is the Superintendent of Schools for the Grafton School District. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Jeff Nelson. Thank you, Mr. Manti. Good afternoon and welcome to today's commencement program for the class of 2023. Today we gather to celebrate the culmination of 13 years of education, dedication, and the limitless potential of our graduating seniors. On behalf of our entire school community, I extend a warm welcome to each and every one of you. This celebration would not be complete without acknowledging the individuals who have contributed to your success, graduates. So first, I'd like to recognize our school board members that are all in attendance today and ask them to stand and be recognized when I read their names. Our board president, Steve Nada, Vice President, Carrie Walls, Treasurer, Mark Kaler, Clerk, Jerry Rossi, and board members, Blair Jamison, Bob Mallon, and Sean Taylor. Thank you. Thank you for being here today and for your commitment and leadership in our district. I'd also like to recognize the great teachers we have here in the Grafton School District and all the extra time and effort they have put into each of your lives. I know in attendance today we also have elementary and middle school teachers that have worked with you as well as our high school teachers that are seated on the sides. We'd ask all teachers to please stand and be recognized. Thank you teachers for your, your, all your work over the years as well as volunteering to be here today. I'd also like to recognize the parents of our graduates. So if you're a parent, please stand and be recognized. Graduates, recognize your parents. No matter how successful you may become as you leave GHS, never forget the people who love and support you. 
And today is an opportunity to thank the family and friends that have supported you, so please take time later today to thank them. The class of 2023 is a class of tremendous talent and achievement. Among you are state qualifiers in athletics and music, individual and team conference champions, state champions in swimming and diving, and just yesterday, state champions in esports. Yes, that is playing video games. Um, national, it's surprising, it actually, you can get a career out of that. National merit finalist and numerous scholars who have excelled academically. Hopefully, we have a state champion in baseball as well, but we have to wait until next week to find that out. Your accomplishments, though, are a testament to your dedication and hard work. And I urge you to cons continue pursuing excellence as you embark on the next chapter of your lives. A piece of advice that I would share would be to continue working hard. You have achieved success so far by doing so. Continue on that path. It is undeniable that your high school experience has been marked by unprecedented challenges, including the global COVID-19 pandemic. You have demonstrated resilience, adaptability, and determination in navigating these uncharted waters. You have not only endured, but thrived, proving that you are capable of overcoming any obstacle that comes your way. I have been blessed to pick a career in education that allows me to fulfill my passion. I've been a teacher, coach, assistant principal, principal, and now superintendent, and although no job is perfect, this has been the perfect career for me. So I would challenge you to find your passion. You've received an education from our district and have received support from your family that has prepared you to leave here and be successful. We know the world is changing at a rapid pace, but we also believe that you are the generation that will lead us into future successes. And as a school community, we look forward to the great things that you will accomplish. You've been a great class of leaders for our high school. And one of the benefits of having a district our size is I get to have multiple opportunities to see many of you in various social settings. And I've always been impressed with how you've handled yourself. Whether it's been at concerts or athletic events, swim and dive team, carbo crams at my house, having graftonics sing at Rotary, and then eat lunch at Culver's or more recently having our advanced woods students um, by grilling hot dogs and hamburgers for them as they build a shed at my house. You've always represented yourself, your families, and our district well. So as you move on to the next chapter of your life, work hard, always seek to do the right thing, and find your passion. Congratulations, Grafton High School Class of 2023. We are proud of you, and we wish you the best. Thank you. Each year, it is tradition for a Grafton High School faculty member to speak to the graduating class. The speaker is selected by our seniors. This year, we are excited to announce that our seniors have selected one of our communication arts teachers to give this address. Please welcome to the stage, Mr. J.D. Atkins. Class of 2023, Thank you for choosing me to be your faculty speaker. This speech, as I understand it, is intended to be a distillation of wisdom that your teachers have imparted uh, to you during your time at Grafton High School. My remarks today are therefore meant to be sharp, focused, and poignant. That said, the last time I gave one of these speeches, I spent a solid minute talking about all the superhero movies that had come out since I was in high school, so I guess you get what you get. This time around, I do intend to better uphold the spirit of this speech and keep my focus squarely on all of you. This is your big day after all. Anyway, let me tell you all about my son. Last year, my wife and I became parents. My son is 16, almost 17 months old. He can say mama and dada and knows that cows go moo. He likes to sit on my lap and eat oranges while we watch Mr. Rogers. He loves oranges. He laughs when you play peekaboo, cries when you leave him at daycare, and nuzzles into your shoulder when he's tired. He can walk from the end of the yard to the front door if you hold his hand. And not too long ago, he was tentatively taking those first independent steps, especially if you trick him into letting go by giving him an orange to hold in each hand. This is a trick we learned. Now, before you accuse me of being a liar, I promise most of this speech is for you. 
But that bit specifically was for your people out in the stands. Or, uh, I include this because I can guarantee that the adults who got you to this stage today, at one point during this past week, looked at you and saw all the things that I just described. Because the long and the short of it is this. Here you are again, ready to let go of that proverbial hand and take your first steps. That's where I come in because I happen to know that when it comes to learning to walk, we could all do with a little encouragement. And since I don't have enough oranges for all of you, I'm afraid it's going to be some boring advice. In Freshman Lit with Mr. Atkins, we begin every new class by reciting the same three promises. These promises read as thus, and if you remember them, class of 2023, feel free to say them with me, no pressure. Number one, there are adults in this building that care about my well-being. Number two, there are students here that will accept me for who I am. Number three, I can choose to learn today. When you were a freshman, I took great care to emphasize to you that these things are true. Every day that you walk into Grafton High School, I told you, these things are true. And I like to believe that these affirmations could also be useful to you in your future. So for my speech, I thought, let's walk through my three affirmations and think about how applicable they might be to a life beyond the walls of GHS. Those of you that took my communications class may notice I'm slightly stealing McConaughey's acceptance speech structure, but whatever, he doesn't own it. Here we go. Number one, there are adults in this building that care about my well-being. Now, right off the bat, I will say that the usefulness of this first affirmation very much depends on the building. Uh, if memory serves, in the years after I graduated from high school, I occasionally found myself in buildings where no one was all that concerned about anyone's well-being. So here's my advice. It's always a good decision to seek out places where people genuinely care about you. I think the most important connections I made in the years after high school were not with friends, but with mentors. No matter where you find yourself in life in the next few years, whether it be the workforce, military commitments, or university, you can always seek out positive role models, and you can always make yourself better by their example. Point of fact, here's a bit of wisdom that one of my mentors from those important years used to love saying, and in a roundabout way, this relates back to what I was saying before about the more colorful places you may find yourself. Uh, he used to say, be safe and make good choices. Look for mentors, and while you're at it, look for good choices. Number two, there are students here who will accept me for who I am. If your next few years are anything like mine, you may find yourself wondering exactly where to find peers willing to do the important work of accepting you for who you are. You may even at times find that search difficult. For me, what helped was knowing what it was that I wanted for myself and finding those things in life that made me come alive. When I was honest with myself about who I was and what I loved, those connections naturally began to follow. And please do not discount the connections you have made here at Grafton High School these past four years. The most important of these connections can stand up to the test of time. Give yourself permission to grow, to explore, and to make new friendships in the years to come, but also give yourself permission to treasure those friendships at home who, that have made you who you are. Number three, I can choose to learn today. When you walk across this stage, recognize that the diploma you have earned is a testament to all that you have learned in the more than a decade you have spent on your academic career. Like a lot of things in your life, today your relationship with learning will forever change. Before today, learning was an imperative given to you. In the years that follow high school, you will find that learning is now an imperative you give yourself. My advice is this, do not expect the world to come to you. The people you meet, the books you read, the travels you take, the jokes you tell, the films you watch, the art you create, the races you run, all of these opportunities for learning you will need to seize for yourself. You will find the world beyond the walls of Grafton High School is beautiful and noisy and mysterious and frustrating and joyful and more than anything, it is changing. And maybe that's the most exciting part of walking across this stage today. You are walking not only into opportunities to learn, but opportunities to participate in the shaping of the world you live in. Don't ever lose sight of that. 
And don't ever forget to make the choice to learn. Class of 2023, on behalf of the faculty of Grafton High School, congratulations on your achievement. Take your next steps confidently. And now, performing in Kanto by Robert W. Smith is the Grafton High School Band. Senior members, please join your band.
We will now be announcing the Senior Recognition Awards. These awards are based on academic accomplishments through seven semesters at GHS. Members from the Grafton High School Class of 2023 have accomplished a great deal academically throughout their high school careers. It is essential that we acknowledge these accomplishments. The following groups of students have graduated from Grafton High School with special academic recognition. Please direct your attention to our seniors. Signified by the wearing of the white tassel, we have our cum laude graduates. Signified by the wearing of a silver tassel, we have our magna cum laude graduates. And our highest honors, signified by the wearing of a gold tassel, we have our summa cum laude graduates. At this time, I would ask all three of these groups to please stand and accept our praise and admiration. You may be seated. It is also my pleasure to introduce the top 10 academic students from the class of 2023. Seniors, when I call your name, please stand and remain standing until all students have been announced. Brooke Brezovar. Lily Hansen. Caleb Kempfer. Caitlin Kenny, Alicia Melitic, Ian Mitchell, Alexandra Moldenhauer, Grace Wieselman, Bella Voilin, Linnea Wheeler. Please join me in giving our top 10 academic students a well-deserved round of applause for all of their hard work to achieve this accomplishment. You may be seated. Each year, two Grafton High School seniors receive the Black Hawk Award. The award is voted on by the GHS faculty members and recognizes two seniors who most embody a combination of the following characteristics, leadership, scholarship, character, and service. The first recipient of the prestigious Black Hawk Award this year is Bennett Hildebrand. Bennett, please join me on stage.
Bennett, please accept this plaque, which recognizes you as a Black Hawk Award winner from the class of 2023. An identical plaque will hang in the Hall of Honor at Grafton High School. Congratulations. Thanks, Bennett. Our second recipient of the Black Hawk Award this year is Grace Wieselman. Grace, please join me on stage. Grace, please accept this plaque, which recognizes you as a Black Hawk Award winner for the class of 2023. An identical plaque will hang in the Hall of Honor at Grafton High School. Congratulations. You can head back. Yeah. The last group that we would like to honor this afternoon is those GHS seniors who will be leaving us to serve our country in the military. At this time, I would ask those seniors to stand and be recognized. It is now my pleasure to introduce our senior commencement speakers. We will begin with our salutatorian, Alicia Melitic. Good afternoon, everyone. I'd first like to thank the administrators, teachers, families, friends, and of course, the class of 2023 for being here. It is an honor to speak to you. Today, we have arrived at the culmination of our high school careers. Although we are near the conclusion of our Bildens Roman, the story of these formative years, we will continue to be the determined, well-rounded individuals that we have become as a result of our time being part of the GHS community. If I had any skill in cinematography or video editing, like some of you sitting in front of me, there would have been so many moments from this past year that I could have compiled into our own coming of age film. Since I do not have those skills, I decided to write this speech about it instead. As I imagine it now, I see the year starting off with us all getting back into the routine of waking up too early, figuring out the best route to our classes and greeting our teachers, both new and old. We laugh at new inside jokes with our old friends and put a little bit of effort into our work before senioritis spreads like the flu, maybe even carefully taking notes and highlighting them. Then we dress up like highlighters for neon theme nights and stand on the bleachers to cheer each other on at sporting events. At halftime of the games, the dance teams performs their intricate choreography and the band's engaging music fills the air. Soon after, we dance to energizing music under the playfully colorful lights at our last homecoming. At our last home games and meets, we celebrate senior nights and say goodbye to teammates who we've grown alongside for years and to the sports that we've become passionate about. We discover new passions, hobbies, and mediums for art and self-expression that we will carry with us forever. At the winter play, we vote for who we want the killer to be as the chatting of intermission fades and the lights dim, returning our attention to the comedic murder mystery. Meanwhile, our futures seem like a mystery as we plan for next year, deciding whether we will join the workforce, enlist in the military, or further our education. We eventually receive our acceptances and rejections before we arrive here at graduation today. While all of this was going on, we each grappled with our own challenges and tried to discover our own identities, relying on the people around us to guide us through the process of the story. 
Now I'd like to focus more on the part of the movie that we would usually skip over or ignore altogether, the credits. Like the producers, our administrators made our, made our experience run smoothly. They created a safe and productive environment for us to learn in, allowing us to better ourselves and our community. Like acting coaches, our teachers and mentors taught us how to develop our skills, solve problems, and stay open-minded to unfamiliar concepts. They enabled us to perform well on exams, competitions, and other events that tested our growth. They helped us to develop a passion for our work and gave us the tools necessary to continue growing as individuals. Like directors, our families guided our actions and made sure that we stayed on the right path. They looked after us when we faltered and provided us with the support and motivation we needed as we chased after our dreams. And finally, like co-stars, our friends were right there with us as we experienced the demanding process. They encouraged us to work hard, but also to ditch our work and have some fun instead. They introduced us to new ideas and helped us to grow more comfortable and confident in the roles that we play. Although we believe many of these wonderful people behind as we conclude our coming of age stories, the impacts they have left on us will linger. Without the guidance of our community, we would not have become the well-rounded, dedicated, capable graduates that we are. And for that, we will remain endlessly grateful. We will need more help as we begin our, as we begin our next stories. So I suggest that we learn one more thing from our time here at GHS and always stay open to the support that our community offers us. Thank you. Nice job. You want to head right to the X. Okay. Alicia, to commemorate your efforts and to honor you, please accept this plaque which acknowledges you as the Class of 2023 Salutatorian. An identical plaque will hang in the Hall of Honor at GHS. Congratulations, Alicia. And now, for our valedictorian from the class of 2023, Alexandra Moldenhauer. honored today to address the class of 2023. Thank you parents, teachers, friends, families, administrators, directors, coaches, mentors, managers, and everyone else who helped me and the rest of my class reach this point. Speaking of points, what is the point? That's a question I've heard often throughout my time in school, and I've asked that very question more than I would like to admit. What is the point of waking up at 6 a.m. every single day just to spend seven hours and 12 minutes at this school? Is it a resulting sleep deprivation really necessary for my future? Is it truly integral to my success to learn how to solve integrals? Is it critical to my career to learn to critique literature through the lenses of critical theories? Is it fundamental to my future that I learn the fundamentals of chemical bonding or linear motion? As I look back, however, I see that the answer to this question is simple. Yes, there really was a point. While our 14-year-old freshman cells may not have understood the importance of our heated mock trials for the Lord of the Flies, or the complex and varied structures of lipids and sugars, and even our 17 and 18-year-old minds may not understand the utility of marginal analysis, or the benefit of repeatedly, re repeatedly replicating ridiculous recursion algorithms, we have all grown from these experiences. The value of these lessons goes far beyond their content. The skills, knowledge, and memories we have acquired from our time here have made us well-informed citizens, critical readers and thinkers, capable writers, powerful problem solvers, and caring people. And that truly is the point. Our time in this building, studying, singing, crafting, creating, presenting, taking tests, laughing, cheering, playing, dancing, competing, 
all of these experiences have made us the people we are today. As we leave Grafton and go out on our own individual adventures, I ask each of you to reflect on how you have grown, from naive freshmen to this moment. Your own hard work and effort have brought you to this point. No small sacrifice or stumble, no minute minute you spent here was pointless. Each of you should be proud not only of the academic content you have mastered, but also of the well-rounded and unique people you have become. So, as you leave Grafton behind, thank your GHS teachers, staff, and administrators for making you who you are, preferably with a handwritten note. Thank them for making it their point to give us an outstanding education and high school experience. Each of us has benefited greatly from their tireless efforts. If nothing else, make it your point today to give back to all those who worked hard to allow you to grow and prosper here at GHS. Let's get straight to the point. The point of your high school experience, the reason it was so important for you to go through these four years, was to grow. To grow academically as students, but also as people, as unique, special, intelligent, kind people. GHS did provide us with a high quality education, but our experiences here have given us something else. The skills to start families, found companies, fight for others, and invent the future. And that's truly the point, to bring the zest out of the nest. Thank you and congratulations, class of 2023. Well done, great to the X, okay? Alexandra, to commemorate your efforts and to honor you, please accept this plaque which acknowledges you as the Class of 2023 Valedictorian. An identical plaque will hang in the Hall of Honor at GHS. Congratulations. And now, the moment that you've been waiting for. Superintendent Nelson, School Board President Mr. Nauta, and Grafton School District Board members. As the principal of Grafton High School, I certify that our students sitting in front of you today have met the graduation requirements set forth by the Grafton School District and the state of Wisconsin. Seniors, please prepare to receive your diplomas. Austin K. Anderson. Casey Page Anderson. Jonathan Arndt. Maxwell Ryan Aria. Claire Margaret Aspenson. Blaine Riley Ator. Max Lester Belke. Amaria Baker. Karen Bangalore. Vikram Naga Bangalore. Mariana Barroso Rojas.
Austin Balfour Icorn. Hannah Grace Bickle. Ashton Thomas Billib. Benjamin Charles Birch. Maria Jose Catherine Bowen. Connor Franklin Allen Bramstead. Ty Connor Brennan. Brooke Aletta Brezovar. Aaron Paul Bulgren. Darielle Lynn Butcher. Emily Butts. Ethan J. Cabell. Vincent Christopher Camernese. Samuel Atticus Case. Juana Esmeralda Chavez. Gwyneth Taylor Shirella. Hunter Casada Clark. Nicholas Lee Coker. Kimonte K. Cook. <laughs> William Joseph Cartwright, Jr. <laughs> Megan Kimberly Crass. <laughs> Elizabeth N. Cruz. Robert A. Danner. Rebecca Kathleen Dart. Brianna Isis Davis Meeling. Kayla Rose Dembeck. Maya Lee DeRider. Alexander Andrew Dish. Alexander Christian Didier. Ariel Rose Diebels. Benjamin Michael Dauberfuhl. Jordan Caleb Alexander Ayer. Nicholas Thomas Espinoza Bickle. Journey Amir Ewing. Alexander J. Balbo. Jaye O. Famakinwa. Carson Jacob Faust. Benjamin Ryan Fredrickson. Liliana Manuela 
Gandria. Josias Garcia. Gretchen Morgan Gerke. Eli Norman Goldstein. Hallie Rose Grimm. Gwendolyn Francis Grumley. Jordan Alberto Guerra. Jacob Richard Gust. Lily B.K. Hansen. Hannah Lee Harmon. Kylie Amber Hayes. Lucas Carl Hensel. Ella Joe Herlash. Lucas David Hess. Bennett Craig Hildebrand. Alana Julia Hilgart. Venus Angeline Inojos. Amanda Lynn Henneke. Liam Charles Hochen Miller. Elena Huskanovich. Jenna May Isaacson. Amon Amore Eisler Har. Christopher William Jackson. Gracie Ann Jagosinski. Dylan Carter Johnson. Madison Drew Johnson Haas. Yasmin Guadalupe Julian. Evan Nicholas K. Destin Travis Kaler. Caleb Michael Kemper. Caitlin Rose Kenny. Dorothy Scott Keon. Xander Daniel Klug. Marley G. Kinnear. Kiana Marie Kozel. Nathan Dean Krause. Lauren Abigail Cuss.
Nathan Alexander Lamar. Brian John Lampier Pearson. Joshua Ellis Lee O'Brien. Peyton J. Leiter. Mason Matthew Lemke. Akela Isabella Lira. Mallory True Lohr. Toby James Lidke. Leah Marie Majeski. Caitlin Faith Mangan, Mangan. Sarah Eileen Mann. It is a Ali Manzur. Tanner Thomas Marine. Trevor Robert Marine. Lillian G. Maratz. Lydia Eve Martella. Addison Grace McKinnis. Grace Jean McNabb. Savannah Nairi McNeely Marshall. Claire Catherine Meineke. Alicia Rose Melitic. Dawson Matthew Memel. Anna Maria Grace Menzia. Libby Karen Michael. Gabriel Calvin Mitkowski. Annika Rose Minor. Ian Kenneth Mitchell. Alexandra Ann Moldenhauer. Michael Roman Muki. Brianna Rose Mersch. Colton Laird Nash. Austin Chase Norton. Catherine Mara O'Brien. Todd Christian O'Connor. Luke Benjamin Olson. Brianna Ann Pam. Amanda Ryan Perrins. Akira Absarda Perez. Ryan Warren Quello.
Madison Nicole Reitz. James Henry Rhines the Fifth. Jordan Danielle Richter. Jamar Anthony Riesenberg. Charles Marvin Rose. Giovanni C. Saggio. Oliver A. Saggio. Amber Mary Schilling. William Russell Shires. Brighton Christopher Schley. Taylor Marie Schnell. Xavier Reed Schneider. Sophie Isabella Schrader. Jackson Kenneth Schultz. Madeline Ray Schultz. Ava O. Schwen. Damian Thomas Sizer. Gladys M. Serrano. Timothy Andrew Sevener. Valentina Simo Giordana. Andrew Sai Slachter. Austin Jeffrey Smith. Waylon Michael Smith. Jack Edward Summers. Jaden Christopher Speets. Sadie Stern. Jared M. Sudbrink. Annika Renee Swenson. Miranda Michelle Utke. Grace Margaret Ann Van Dyke. Kylie Rose Vavrika. Grace Ann Wieselman. Alexander Nicholas Vincent. Bella Marie Voiland. Liam Matthew Walls. Bliss Dean Wardall. Jasmine Lynn Westcott. Aiden Timothy Arthur West. Linnea Elizabeth Wheeler. Andrew Henry Wheeler.
Jack Ryan Wilkins. Brady Dalton Windsor. Casey Jacob Winter. Clayton Theodore Wizardi. Devin Jai Yang. And Matthew Ralph Zabel. Let's hear it for all of our graduates from the class of 2023. As we conclude our ceremony this afternoon, I would like to share a few brief thoughts with our seniors. Based on what you have heard repeatedly throughout the ceremony, the class of 2023 is a very accomplished class. Class of 2023, your high school experience has been anything but typical or ordinary. You have proven over the last four years that you can learn, grow, and thrive under any conditions. During the second semester of your freshman year, you proved that you could learn from home. You demonstrated patience and flexibility as we navigated learning outside of the typical school experience. During sophomore year, you proved that you could learn in the classroom or at home while being a part of the same class at the same time. You joined in collaborative discussions or activities with classmates while some were in the classroom and some were at home. With the second half of your high school experience, we returned to a sense of normalcy but it was a bit of a different normal. Our learning management system, Canvas, continued to be a daily part of your academic routine. If you happened to be absent for the school day, you could check the daily agenda in Canvas for your classes and know exactly what your classes completed. If you needed a resource from class, it was available and accessible for you at any time. The ability to be in two places at once continued through significant advancements with online meets. No longer did partner or group projects need to take place at someone's home or a local coffee shop. While these are still great options, collaborative discussions and projects with partners and small groups can take place from anywhere. So while your four-year experience was different from the graduating classes before you and not typical or ordinary, it suits you. There is nothing about this class that is typical or ordinary. I can assure you of that. In fact, the class of 2023 is extraordinary and exceptional. Each and every one of you played an important role in the accomplishments of this class, and you will move on to make a difference in our world through the post-secondary pursuits of your choice. Before you leave, it is important for me to say thank you to the GHS class of 2023. You have consistently impressed me with your leadership, level of maturity, and drive to continuously improve. These characteristics will serve you well far beyond the walls of Grafton High School. Class of 2023, I will miss each of you as individuals for the unique skills, talents, passions, and personalities that you have shared with us at GHS. Class of 2023, I will miss you for what you have accomplished collectively as a class. As you move forward, please know that we will continue to be here for you and we look forward to the day when you return to visit. And most important, most important, always remember, 
Once a Blackhawk, always a Blackhawk. Class of 2023, please stand. To commemorate your commitment to GHS, school spirit, and Black Hawk pride that you have demonstrated throughout the last four years, the GHS band will play our school song for you one final time. Please sing along with your band. Seniors, it is now time. This is your final task as a GHS student. Please move your tassel from right to left, signifying your graduation from Grafton High School. On behalf of the Grafton School District administration, faculty, and staff, I would like to officially present to you the graduated class of 2023. Congratulations, seniors. That concludes our ceremony this afternoon. We thank everyone in attendance for being a part of this very special day and invite you to join your graduate on Kellner Field for any additional photography that you would like commemorating the event. Please drive home safely.